Also, the gingerbread man that I drew yesterday is hidden behind this. Two of the three products did turn out the way I have wanted. back to another studio vlog it is 2024 i am so excited for the new year it's a time for new things i hope that the end of your 2023 went well i haven't filmed too much this week because this week we are actually hosting our friend miss so you might have heard me talk about it in the last studio vlog before the end of the year and everyone decided that today was the best day for everyone and we have been feverishly working on making sure the house is deep cleaned and everything so what are some new things that have happened since the last time you saw me and now so i decided to try bullet journaling for this year i asked for a bullet journal for christmas and my father-in-law got one for me and i'm really really happy about it it came with a little set of a bunch of different things some markers bullet journal and some templates you can trace and it's been really really fun it's something i'm using to write down my tasks for my small business and my patreon a little bit of life stuff but not too much i'm not trying to make it aesthetic i know that a lot of people like the aesthetic bullet journal thing but i don't want this to become something that gets me frustrated when i work on it and it's also helping me with perfection because i've already messed up quite a few times in the bullet journal but then i'm just like you know what it's just to write down and record things i'm doing for my small business for patreon so it's not a big deal it doesn't have to be perfect i'm actually running very low of stickers now because i've been using it all over my bullet journal another thing is i started reading so i have been thinking about reading for a while now and so far i have read one book it took me three days to finish a book called dance of thieves and i really really enjoyed it i went into the bookstore blind i didn't ask for any recommendations i didn't even look up any books and i just went in there and chose a book that sounded really interesting and that was the one i ended up choosing and then earlier this week my husband and i tried to go find the second book to that book which is called vows of thieves and i couldn't find it we went to four different bookstores well it's the same bookstore but different locations and they did not have the second book 
And because I couldn't find that book, I decided to go ahead and start a new book. And that book is called Daughter of the Moon Goddess. It's been really fun getting back into reading. I can't even remember the last time I actually bought a physical book. But it's been really nice and relaxing because then I'm not always scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or all my social media. So let me show you guys how we have things set up for the Christmas party later. Because this tree is still up, we're going to be playing games. So we have a prize box here and the winners can choose whatever we want. But we also have a few things that are gift wrapped that they cannot open till the end. It's going to be a little fun and a little fun twist. Here we have some gifts for our friends and then some white elephant items. My husband bought this hot sauce which ranges from hotness of 1 to 11. And we're not going to force anyone to do it, they can do it if they want to, but going to put it on some Tostitos and try it. We also have this being boozled. We have a fun little twist to the games where if people want certain prizes, they have to spin the wheel to try a bean. If you've never tried this before, it's basically there's all these beans and there's two different flavors for each color bean. One is a good flavor and one is a bad flavor. So down here I have some cups that I made just with tissue paper and then with rubber bands over it. And then when people win a prize, they could poke it. We got some of these plastic table covers from the dollar store. Of course, we had to have a gingerbread man and gingerbread girl one. And on the side here, it's super cute. And then the other one here is Kenny King's. We have some goodies and some snacks for later. And then we have these snowmen up here, just chilling. Also, the gingerbread man that I drew yesterday is hidden behind this right here. So when people come in, they won't start looking for the gingerbread man. Let me show you where we hid him. One is behind this ornament on the Christmas tree. It's actually on the side of the Christmas tree here. There's another one behind this hedgehog we have in front of the TV and his hat is just barely sticking out. So I feel like you have to really look for it to find it behind this little guy. And the last one is here in the eye of this face mask. My husband thought it would be a good idea to have him poking out like that. I think it's super cute. I am not planning to record our friends and us having fun during the party. I want to focus on the party. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't want to be filmed anyway. So yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Where? I is he like right here? <laughs> You're looking right at it. Where is it? You put him under my mouth. It is Saturday, January 6th. Yesterday, we had a lot of fun doing a little friend miss party. It was really fun to watch everyone look for the gingerbread man. It was kind of a little bit chaotic, but it was really fun. And I also played for the very first time the meme game, which I saw all over TikTok, but in French. So I'm really proud of myself. I was able to get four cards from all the cards that we ended up going through. I did have to have a husband help me when I did have to read them and then choose a winner for whatever meme I chose. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. I have just finished posting about the digital download. I was supposed to create and post about the Pinot Club goodie, but then I decided to go ahead and switch it for the digital download. I was really busy with this week with my husband since we were hosting the Friendmas. At the beginning of the vlog, you saw me cleaning up my studio space. And after I did that, I decided to try to figure out a live stream setup. Every time I open the live stream app, I use Prism Live Studio. I also forget how everything works. So I'm just trying to find an appropriate set up with what I currently have that will work when I'm just working with my products, maybe preparing or packaging them. Also speaking of products, I did get all the products that I had gotten manufactured last year and unfortunately, 
two of the three products didn't turn out the way I have wanted. But I'll show you that in a little bit. My goal before the end of the day is to have this month's Patreon goodies made and ready to go. So before I start on that, let me show you the goodies that came in. So here we have my sticky note, my bee keychain, and my sunflower keychain. A few things about the sticky notes. The color is darker than I would have liked. That's totally my fault. I should have known that skin marking on paper does tend to be dark because, you know, it's different on every material, but on paper, I feel like it is darker. So I should have lightened it up before I submitted it. Also, it's not very sticky. Here I have some tests of the sticky note. This is not my design. These are sticky notes that were added into my order as freebies. I have two of them and I just decided to try them out. And as you can see, the corner that comes off at the end does not stick on very well. And for this one, I pulled it from the bottom here. And at first it did fall down, but it is staying up now. But yeah, that's the main problem with them. I also tried some different writing instruments. So here's a marker, a highlighter, a permanent marker, and a pen. As you can see, the markers do go through this paper. And this sheet was on top of this sheet, so you can kind of see the brown mark from the brown permanent marker. So overall, they work, but they don't work perfectly. When I put these in the Etsy shop, they would be all considered B grades, and they would be in there at a discounted price. Here is the last thing I worked on, which is the sunflower keychain. As you can see, Captain Froggo is too big, so you lose some of the words on the side. Another thing is, is that this product is not very consistent. It's fun, but it's not a consistent product. I came in two pieces and I put them together and when I tried spinning the frogs on two different ones, they spin a little differently. So one was faster and the other one was slower. And Captain Froggo is not exactly centered. So he's heavier on one side. So he likes to point to no a lot. This is a product that requires that it's perfect and I should have known that I shouldn't have created a product that requires all that. The back is fine, it's just like your standard keychain. It comes with a Sakura key class as well. So as you can see, Captain Froggo likes to be pointing down. So he's heavier on one side of the circle than the other side. If you were going to use it the way I had envisioned, it would be having it laying down and then just spinning it. Regardless though, it functions. It's still fun to just spin if you just need something to spin. So these will also be in the Etsy shop for a discount. It will probably be at the same price as the two inch acrylic keychains. The item that came out perfectly was this B keychain, which is part of the spring collection. The front has epoxy glitter on it and there's a daytime theme. And the back has no epoxy and it is a nighttime thing. I'm really happy with this item. Here is the majority of the fiscal goodies besides the Pinnacle Club goodie that will be part of Jinron's Patreon reward. The theme for this month is creative motivation and this character is called Jamie. It is one of my cat characters and one of the first 
characters I created when I started drawing digital art again and I haven't drawn much of my other characters so I decided this year I'm going to draw more things other than frogs and mushrooms. This doesn't mean that I won't draw mushrooms and frogs but I want to highlight other characters as well. So here we have Jamie as a painter. He painted this hill scene with the sun. Got inspiration from the window outside. This is his father. This little box right here of tools and stuff took me a very long time to do. I'm not a painter so I don't know everything that a painter usually uses. I googled some images and I also watched some room tours of some painters and I got a little bit of an idea of the things that they use so I added them here. If you follow me for a while you'll know that the reference to this and this is from some things I drew a while back. These two images helped a lot when it came to the creation of the overall set. The main die cut sticker, which is three inches. This is the extra sticker and it's a reminder to take a break. Always take a break when you need it. And this is also considered as the extra sticker. 